the way. Or is it? Because there's like a traitor or something. But uh, guys, welcome to my Mandalorian Season 3 Finale Reaction, Chapter 24. So, th there's a lot of things that happen this season, but there's a lot of nothing that happened this season. This season has felt like a nothing burger at times, where, yeah, we were leading to something, but that something didn't really something until last episode. And even then, we all knew Moff Gideon was coming back for the most part. We didn't know how or when. Uh, we just knew that he was. <laughs> I think there's nothing wrong with having episodic adventures. I mean, The Clone Wars was always a very fun show, at least so far, I haven't finished it yet, but I think that in the case of an eight episode story, it's not really fitting to have fillery episodes and that like Jack Black episode. It was fun at times, don't get me wrong, but it just didn't feel like it fit anywhere. It took him 50 minutes just to talk to somebody. And I get that the whole point of it was to just open diplomatic relations with another planet. I get that, but I don't think you really needed to spend that much time on that plot when we have a lot of more interesting things going on. We had this whole thing going on in Coruscant with the whole, you know, we forgive you program. I forgot what it was called or uh, prove to us that you're loyal thing. And I loved it. It was very fun to watch. I just didn't think it fit in the Mandalorian. I think it fit in a much, I think it fit somewhere else. Kind of like how the Mandalorian episode in the Book of Boba Fett was amazing. It was the best episode of the season, in my opinion. However, I don't think it fit. The show's about Boba Fett, just like this show's about the Mandalorian. But I'll get into that into my review. I'm going on a side tangent. The longer I wait to watch this episode, the more chance I get of being spoiled. But there's a lot of theories going around that the armor is the traitor. And I didn't even know that there was another traitor because last episode was titled The Traitors. And I didn't even see a traitor. Like, who, who betrayed people last episode? Who was the traitor? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. So uh, maybe that was to set up this episode. I, I don't know, but I don't see a point in theorizing about it when I can watch it right now. And, uh, you know, I don't want to waste any more of your times. But uh, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching The Mandalorian Season 3 with me. And your finale reaction starts now. I'm entering up for atmosphere, but I have my orders. A lot of people think he is the traitor, too. I don't know, though. I'm just gonna let the show tell me. Hello there. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that's what it looks like out of his helmet. <laughs> I wondered how he saw out of that thing. Hell yeah. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, what? No. Grogu came in clutch. Will you cut me loose? Yes. <laughs> this will never end. So we gotta kill him. I still think Grogu's gonna say his first word this episode. They've been kind of hitting at that. Hell yeah! The return? The return of what? Of the Mandalorians? <laughs> they, they got Luke Skywalker to return again. Come in. I, I, I hope that's not the case, because they need to have cool stuff outside of Jedi stuff. I'm going after my or maybe it's the return of the Mythosaur. What if Grogu tames the Mythosaur? He create he can tame it, but he kind of calmed down the Rancor. No, I'll take care of him myself. God, that's such a cool voice. Hell yeah, he's a real one. I know he doesn't like Bo-Katan. He has his reasons, but like, they all want Mandalore. They all want the same thing. So I'd be pretty upset too if Moff Gibbon was trying to take my stuff. Again. So that theory never really resonated with me that much. Oh, dude, let's go, bro! I am getting Phantom Menace PTSD. See, this is... I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. They're just waiting for their turn to get their ass whooped. <laughs> Hello there. Don't be a snitch. Oh, no. He's about to get arrested by mouse droids. Who is he cloning? I can't... It's not Snoke. They're all different people, it looks like. Of him, maybe? Of Moff? 
They are clones of Moff Gideon. Those are his clones. They need is room to grow. Wow. Lady Kreemans have arrived. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking the return means the return of Mandalore. Oh, nice. Let's go, dude. Aerial Mandalorian fights. Oh. Yo, this is sick. Oh, man, I wanted more of that. This is giving me Empire Strikes Back vibes. When Luke is walking around trying to find Vader. The Force. Oh! I was isolating the potential to incorporating it into an unstoppable... That's what he wanted Grogu for. You. Oh. Bro's armor is so cool, though. Oh, no. Dude, it is a 4v1 with the Praetorian Guards and Moth. Oh, hell nah. Grogu's got to come in here and do some Force stuff. Yeah. No. Oh, hell nah, bro. Dude, if Grogu 1v3 Praetorian Guards, oh my god. This will get a 10 out of 10. That was sick. Oh no, dude. Let's go, yeah! Use what Luke taught you. Oh. Oh. Nice. Nice, she gets her revenge. Oh man, I thought Grogu was gonna do some force stuff. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's just like, go away. Go away. <laughs> nice. Grogu's doing stuff. Oh, that was sick. Man, I thought Grogu was about to just destroy those guys. Oh, no! No way! You've lost everything. Bro, no. Mandalorians are weak once they... I was about to say, why doesn't he just jump out? <laughs> if he went down with the ship and died, I would have been like, bro, you could have left. Oh, sucks to suck. Yeah, but did he die? Did he actually die? Because if you survive that... Oh, wow, bro. <laughs> Grogu's beasting. Wow, <laughs> that shot. My man threw down a bubble shield with the force. Mandalore is back. Isn't the Mythosaur down there, though? Ragnar? That's a sick name. Like Ragnarok? Oh, he's going to take Grogu, too? It's agreed. Aw. He must remain a foundling. Then I will adopt him as my own. Oh. <laughs> Yo. This is the way. This is the way. You are now Din Grogu, Mandalorian <laughs> apprentice. This is the way. What? Din Grogu? Damn. Hey, I, th I found I found uh, my boy. Oh, wow, look at that. They got the full armory now. Is that Dave Filoni in the back there? <laughs> is that Dave Filoni? That totally is Dave Filoni, isn't it?
You want to work for the New Republic? Hell yeah. Let me think about it. You already did. <laughs> it's a good deal. Oh, the circuit. Oh, the memory circuit. Hell yeah. The new marshal. Got his whole whole setup. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that seems like a like an ending for sure. They they don't even need a season four after this, to be honest. There you will go. There is my finale reaction to the Mandalorian season three. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty underwhelmed with what happened here. It it definitely sealed the whole reclaim Mandalore arc, and that is what I'm presuming comes from the title of the episode, the return, the return of Mandalore to the Mandalorians. And I, although I think that was a great ending for a season, I honestly don't see where else they can go. It'd just be a whole bunch of side quests from now on with Din and Din Grogu. And although you had those great moments like with the Darksaber being destroyed, Grogu being officially adopted, uh, you had another look at the Mythosaur, I just feel like there was nothing really crazy that happened this season that really makes you want to go back and watch that moment. Like, like last season, you had the Ahsoka reveal you had the luke skywalker reveal you had the bo katan reveal you had a lot of cool moments in season two and i'm not saying that in order to have a cool moment you have to reference other characters i just think that there was nothing super crazy that happened this season outside of a mythosaur opening an eye at dark saber being destroyed I, I just remember hearing an interview with dave filoni saying oh you you guys are gonna wish you didn't wish for this show to continue because you know there's some crazy stuff's gonna be happening but like nothing happened i mean he made it seem like someone was gonna die i, I just don't see how it sets up everything else going forward we got mandalore back wasn't mentioned at all in the sequel movie, so I, I don't see how that's going to affect the timeline going forward. I think what they could have done is, I'm not saying you have to throw Ezra in here or Ahsoka again, but start slowing, start slowly tying in those stories to that, you know, Mandoverse movie that Dave Filoni's doing in 2026. Just start laying the seeds down for that, and I'm pretty sure he has there's been a few cases you have all these characters they're uniting but i i think doing you know a nick fury move where it's like hey we're here to talk to you about the uh theron initiative and it just starts laying the seeds down for that and they did do that with moff gideon but I, I just think that there needed to be something more to really get you to want to watch going forward because all that's left is just the adventures of grogu and din which is fun, but I, I like having an overall story. I really did enjoy this episode, though. I think it's a solid 8 out of 10, just from an entertainment perspective. It definitely had its moments. Something that really bothered me about this season, though, even though we all knew Moff Gideon was probably coming back, they kind of just threw him in here. Oh, broke out of prison, bad guy now, and then they kill him off the next episode. I just, I, I have a problem with that. I like when things are just not pulled out of their ass and there was there's a reason that he was broken out of and yeah there's a whole thing with the you know new republic spies and all that i just think it just happened out of nowhere and like the, in the penultimate episode that's something that should have been built up like oh we think that moff gideon really did escape and i don't just mean in like a throwaway line in episode three like have the characters start realizing this and they never did until the penultimate episode it's like oh moff gideon's back whoa i just feel like there wasn't an overall narrative that they were reaching for outside of we're gonna take mandalore back i think that that would be something that would happen in an episode or two not a whole season long event if that makes sense i i just think there needed to be something more like in for example, season one, it was the struggle between Din and, you know, taking in Grogu and learning why why Moff Gideon wanted this guy. And you had that whole buildup. And then you had that Darksaber reveal in season one. Season two was all about getting Grogu to this place. And season three, I, I guess it was about retaking Mandalore now that I'm thinking about it. But it just... I guess what I'm trying to say, how it got to that point just felt a little underwhelming. I, I think that makes sense. I'm trying to process everything I just saw, so my thoughts are very jumbled, but I think you can kind of get what I'm trying to say is it's the buildup to that big story for the season. It just felt a bit underwhelming here.
I mean, for crying out loud, we had a whole episode dedicated to some other thing on Coruscant. So really, it was only seven episodes this season. But let me know what you guys thought of The Mandalorian Season 3. I, I had a lot of fun with this season. I wish there was a little bit more to it. Maybe another few episodes would have made it better. But thank you all so much for watching this season with me. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me know what your favorite moment was from this season down in the comments below. And if you want to be notified every single time I upload a new Star Wars reaction, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next reaction to Star Wars. Subscribe to Zang Helios for some more on friggin'